Welcome back to Galactic Center Games. Today we're going to use the cheetah bookmarking ship we fit in our previous video to set some bookmarks in Nullsec. Bookmarking allows us to increase our survivability in Nullsec by using careful preparation and alternative lines of movement to decrease the chance that we're going to get caught on a gate camp while we travel around or if we engage in combat in these systems. Additionally, these same techniques allow us to prepare for our own engagements, including covert ops and bombing. To give a quick breakdown from our last video, we're flying a cheetah with a Covert Ops cloaking device too, propulsion mods and a few little extras. If you'd like to see exactly what we fit, you can see that in our previous video. In this video, we found an easy system to bookmark, but we always want to make sure to note that not every system is going to be this easy to bookmark, especially if they have fleets in them already, eyes, anything that's going to essentially bring the fight to us. In a future video, we'll demonstrate what to do if you run into a gate camp, including hitting a bubble, drag bubbles, anything like that. Here you can see that Warstar has moved into a nullsec system, nullsec being any system with a 0, 0 or lower security rating. The first thing we notice is that local uh, only has one other unknown pilot in system. I'm the other pilot there, so it's just myself, Warstar, and somebody else. Warstar verifies the current grid is clear, and then he uses a technique to minimize the chance that he gets tackled by aligning to where he wants to warp, in this case a planet. He hits his cloak, and followed quickly by the micro warp drive. This allows it to burn for one cycle, accelerating him and aligning him towards the gate so he can warp out quickly. This just helps the chance that he won't get caught on the gate. Uh, planet's chosen because most often drag bubbles are expecting pilots to warp between gates or between the sun and the gate, and so by going to a planet we're just minimizing the chance that we will get caught. A quick descan reveals he's still relatively safe and he decloaks to launch his combat probes. This is a, a necessary step, but it can help chase off some pilots who think you're hunting them because they see the combat probes are out. He warps to an asteroid belt close to a, a gate within 14.3 AUs so that he's within scanning range, and he does a narrow 5 degree descan of that gate to ensure that it's clear. Right after he scans, you'll see that local spikes with three new pilots. So he begins scanning again to make sure that the gate area is clear. He has to do this for a good amount of time because he's waiting for the timer to run out for them to decloak. By doing this, he's making absolute sure that they are not going to be at that gate when he gets there, which obviously would not be good. Once he's confident that the gate is clear, he warps to the gate at 70 kilometers. He wants to do this because he wants to avoid the chance that there are other ships that can be within 2,500 meters of his ship, which de would decloak him. And also, he's far enough away that it's not going to take forever for him to get to a good tactical location. As he lands on the gate, he surveys the area, then chooses a random direction that doesn't seem to be between a warp in point and the gate itself, and he begins moving that way by double-clicking in space. He changes his D-scan range to be 5 AUs and a full 360 degree angle so that he has good situational awareness and he can monitor any ships that might be incoming to his position though he is still relatively or very safe while he's cloaked. Warstar is looking to set his tactical bookmark between 300 and 350 kilometers away from the gate. Plus or minus a little is absolutely fine. Here you can see he clicks on people and places when he's at the location he wants to be at, and in that window that pops up he clicks add location. We want to use a consistent naming scheme because we should be using these in all sorts of systems, right? So if we're building up an entire area that we want to engage people, we want to use this consistent naming scheme just to help us react quickly. We choose to put an approximate distance and the name of the gate that we're over. It's important to remember that we shouldn't be any further away than we are in this particular instance, which is he's about 364 kilometers, because we want to avoid leaving the grid, meaning we'd lose sight of any ships that are at a gate without us knowing it. We would see the gate, but they wouldn't appear to us. After adding the bookmark, he right-clicks in space and verifies that it's there. After getting tactical bookmarks on all the gates, we now go to work for setting up the bookmarks for our first bombing run. What we want to do is warp to the gate at 50 kilometers, and here Warstar starts looking around for good warp out points. Uh, while we'll teach the entire bombing process later, what's important here is that we're looking to put a bookmark about 35 kilometers off of a gate, and we want to be looking through the gate at a warp out point. Meaning we want to be in one location, and that's where our bookmark is, then we're looking at the gate, and behind that gate is a warp out. It's kind of like we're looking down a rifle. Once he identifies where he'd like to warp out to, he eyeballs a route from where he is now in space to there, and he double clicks so he can start navigating in that direction. This can take a few minutes because we're not using our prop mods as we're cloaked, 
we're going to have to make small micro adjustments to our angle and speed just to make sure that we're looking down the barrel like we talked about. So what we want is to get, like I said, about 35 kilometers off, and we want to be looking down that barrel rather accurately, though it doesn't need to be exact. It's not something you'd want to do in a heat of battle either, because it's going to take you quite a long time, and if a large fleet were on the gate, they'd probably be gone before you got a clean bombing run in, and even if you didn't, well, there's lots of factors involved and you might get unlucky. We want to set the bookmark the same as we did for the tacticals, except this time we're going to use just the term bombing run with the name of the gate. By doing this on all of the gates, we're now ready to bomb all of the gates in an entire system. You can also use the same technique to set up bombing runs on station undocks, POSs, or really anything else that we can warp to that you think other ships might be at. And that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know. And we'll see you in space.